Hello, hi, hey, it's your good friend J. Scott Jewel playing NetHack again. I uh, did get that note I left myself that I'm just down here to get a pickaxe because uh, I'm curious about that vault. Uh, just taking the cursory look at the old inventory here. Oh, missed page two. Always helps to remember what you've got going on. Okay, not a ton of any interest. Yep. Uh, and are any of these a pickaxe? No. Ooh, a wand. I like that. Oh, garter snakes. Those are always fun. Uh, they can hide underneath items, which can make it really difficult to figure out whether or not you've actually finally eliminated all of them. Hey, we got a wand of digging. Uh... That's some gray of Elbereth. No real reason. It does exercise wisdom, but that's not really what I'm after. Several objects. Pickaxe? No. Would like a pickaxe. I do like that little Porky can uh, heal itself. I feel like that'll come in handy. So I am just kind of... Oh. Got a key, just kind of sweeping the area. Not even looking for the downstair. I'm mostly trying to get into trouble with uh, some dwarves if I can find any. As they are where the pickaxe will come from. Well, you know, if it takes. Ooh, an arrow trap. Got hit by an arrow. Now that I've disarmed it, there's a stack of arrows there, which would be great news if I had any intention of using a bow, but I don't. So. Looking for a pickaxe. Oh, not looking for an acid blob. But I will eat its corpse. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten its corpse. Really didn't think it would do quite that much damage to me, but oh well. I don't even remember if you get any good resistances off of acid blob corpses. I've just been eating them when I find them because they're a source of food. Well, let's eat some of these food rations and then wait for the confusion to go away. Apparently it was a rotten ration or cursed, maybe. I don't know. I don't actually know what the odds are of that happening. That's okay. Uh, this is another no laptop episode. Uh, I feel sluggish, I believe, is an indication ooh, that I was on an anti-magic field, but it didn't much matter because of my cloak. Um, yeah, I left my laptop sitting somewhere and basically just didn't want to drag it over here just to look up some websites, so I'm just relying on my own wit and memory this time. Crossbow bolts. Thanks, thanks, but no thanks, Biggin. Do not need crossbow bolts at this juncture. Oop, there's a floating eye. Sadly, it did not leave a corpse. This telepathy is very useful, but, well, as long as the stairs are here, I guess I can go down them. Yeah. You know what? While my pets are here, let's bring them downstairs too and search the next level for a pickaxe. Still just looking for a pickaxe. And actually, let me see. Okay, so I forgot to set a timer in addition to forgetting my laptop. I am forgetting just about everything it's possible to forget. There we go. Rolling boulder, which I will destroy because of the possibility of it being part of a rolling boulder trap, which it was. Uh, Freestanding boulders in the middle of the mines is usually an indicator that it's a trap. And now I'm carrying too much to squeeze through that hole, which hilariously is a problem that I could alleviate with 
a pickaxe, which is the whole reason I'm down here. Oh, a brass wand. Okay, gnome lord. Which I will let my pets take care of. And let's write with... Oh, it vanished. What is that brass wand? Q. Vanished. So it could be teleportation, could be cancellation, could be the other thing. Invisibility. It'd be great if it was invisibility. I would love it. Um, so I'll test it on this scroll of punishment. Scroll is still there and it's unchanged, so poof. There's a wand of invisibility. So now I am invisible, which will come in handy. Oh, and there's a dwarf! Uh, I got hit by an elven dagger. So with me invisible and my pets around, yeah, this shouldn't be any problem. Get him, biggin. Nice. Uh, so there's gold. Still no pickaxe. Dwarf is after rocks, I guess. Well, he was after rocks. Now he's after uh, just kind of nothing. He doesn't exist anymore. Man. A club, crossbow bolts, and I still can't get through. Uh, so let's drop the darts. Drop the other darts. I doubt that'll be enough to make the difference. Ah, shoot. And I feel like I'm not actually carrying all that much, but apparently I am. Oh, hey. Hey, self, you have a wand of digging. That's how you can get through here. Uh, what's the letter on it? C? Zap. There we go. So now I've got a path to the rest of the level, including the downstair. So we can explore that if we still don't find what we're looking for. Uh, and it is nice to have a stack of daggers. Uh, Yeah, it does help if you pick the right direction to throw in, though. I'm going to mosey back over to my pets here and just kind of hang out briefly until all the, uh, all the fun comes over. All my fun dungeon friends. Smash some gnomes. Another wand of magic missile, and I'm running into encumbrance problems again. So... What can I get rid of? I can eat some of these tins. Yes! Spinach! Spinach will increase my strength. That's wonderful. French fried fox. Oh, now I got slippery hands, which means I need to find a towel or something before I can wipe them off. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that's just going to keep happening. Shoot. That's a zombie corpse.
A little Porky messing with a Rothe up there. Got a stethoscope. That's always useful. Still not a pickaxe, though. I swear I came down here just to get a pickaxe. Which... I guess having declared that intention is probably why I'm not getting it. Just jinxed myself. They say it doesn't have a consciousness, but I'm pretty sure the random number generator is out to get us. As NetHack players. Yeah, that's the whole level explored. No sign of a simple pickaxe. I like that Biggin has picked up a dagger. Hmm. Hey, finally got him. And I've got a mummy wrapping, which means I will be able to enter stores. <gasps> a broad pick. Technically a pickaxe. I'll take it. Biggin, come here. We need to, we need to take care of this dwarf together. Wonderful. Great job. Yeah, I know. My movements. But, but, we've got a pickaxe. And that's what counts. Alright, Biggin, come back. Come on. All right, I gotta go find little Porky. Hmm, still burdened. What can I get rid of? could eat some food. It's still no good. I mean, these spell books certainly aren't doing me any favors. Of course, on the other hand, neither are all of these gems. Okay, so if I'm only holding four daggers, then I'm unencumbered. So that's not too bad. Where did Lil Porky go? Oh no! No! I don't want to go further down. Don't really want to be wielding a broad pick either, but yeah, it's what the situation seems to be calling for, so. Crossbow bolts. Ooh, elven boots. So it looks like probably what happened was Lil Porky uh, got hit by the same trapdoor I did and fell down here because I heard. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit by this boulder. Oh, wait. Never mind. The trap is somewhere else. There's a gray ooze, though. Okay, cool. Killed it. 
Lil Porky, where'd you go? Lil Porky. Okay, so there's another level. I'll take my daggers. Oh, oh right, and I'm wielding that uh that broad pick. Zap both of them with force bolts. Still looking for Lil Porky. Darn. <laughs> Lil Porky, there you are. All right, come here. Come here. All right. Very good. Ooh. And I got some strength. All right. We got the whole gang back together. Speaking of gangs... Look at all these roads. Luckily I'm invisible so they don't have the ability to make a beeline for me. Oh, it's just a little dog. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so my... Wand of Polymorph is officially out of charges, so that dog is just going to remain a regular old dog. Won't even give it a weird name. Hmm. I'm kicking this pile of stuff just in case there's a cursed object in it. I want to get all that stuff out of the way so my pets can all come through and come upstairs one by one. There we go. We got everybody. Hooray. Okay, now, what can I get rid of? I can probably get rid of the cloak. Uh, I can probably get rid of... I don't want to get rid of the food. I do want to find out, though, whether or not... These boots are cursed, so I can wear them if they're not. All right, boots, drop them. Oh, oh, biggin, dang it. I should have known better than that. Should have known better than to let biggin put my boots on, but I've got the pickaxe I was looking for, and we are just about out of time here, so I'm going to call it. Uh, but next time, we will use this pickaxe to dig around and try to find that vault. Uh, until then, I am signing off. Bye-bye.